what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel how are you doing it's been a minute video so many people liked that video so many people have watched that video since that particular video I've been on such a tremendous journey and I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I've learned and the things that I've been learning just so that you can know and really get where you are as a person okay all my ladies who think that oh my gosh do you really think that I will be proposed to First of all, <laughs> yes, you will be. It's a matter of time. You will be proposed to, but you need to become the person that you're looking for yourself. I've talked about this in the single, safe, and secure series. I'm sure I mentioned something similar before. And this is so important. Becoming. Hey. And the first thing that we need to know so that we can become the best versions of ourselves is that we need to surrender ourselves, our wants, our misbehavior, our weaknesses, our strengths. We need to surrender all that to God. Sometimes people think wholeness is perfection. We can't achieve perfection. We are not Jesus. Or we can live under submission to God's will over our lives. And that begins a whole new journey in healing. Don't expect one day you're everything. It is a goal. We get there with time. It's not a day's journey. You can quicken and hasten it by being aligned with God. Like being very in tune with what heaven says about your life. That's when you become whole. So you need to know what God says about you first. You can get wisdom from other people, yes, but not use it like a perfect manual to get into where you want to go. They don't know. They don't know your life, but God does. Uh, scripture says that he foreknew us. He has ordained us. He's predestined us. So he's the only one who has the manual to your life. You can't be going to look at everyone else's life and think now when I follow this, the end result is the same. Do you understand me? It's about God, you guys. In the end, you'll look at him and tell him, God, thank you for not answering the prayers I asked you to answer. God, thank you for having my back. Thank you, Lord, for guiding my steps. Because the Bible says he orders our steps. So are you going to trust him today? Are you going to let him lead you today? Are you going to allow him to come into your situation and turn it around the way he wants it, not the way you tell him to? <laughs> I'm getting in your business today just to let you know that it's well, it's working out and to thank you. I can't thank you enough for your support. So bye guys, until next time.